Hello and welcome, Chef Pennington here in Austin, Texas, where we bring flavor to the table and that's exactly what we're doing today. I'd like to introduce to you guys my favorite bread ever, Dave's Killer Bread. This stuff is amazing, guys. It's super healthy. It has three grams of protein, three grams of fiber in every single piece, and the flavor is unreal. I'm not paid to say this. I just really love their bread and I want to make a video of it. I've been doing this for breakfast lately, making these truffled egg in the hole, and it's the most amazing thing. I'll probably eat the rest of my life. So freaking good. We're going to use some truffle butter, which is awesome. You can find it at the grocery store a lot these days, and it's not as expensive as truffles usually are. Chervil, guys, you ever used chervil before? It is a French parsley, essentially, and it's wonderful with eggs. So good. We're going to use a little bit of caprese tomato. You can use any type of tomato, that acidity. There's some good Parmesan cheese. So we're using really great ingredients. Everything's just amazing. And we're going to scramble some eggs, too. So let's start off with our egg in a hole. We're going to use really high-quality butter. I like using Kerrygold. Not paid to say that. Probably should be, but really delicious bread. High-quality fat from the butter really matters. So just cut out a hole there. You could use an orange juice glass, but I don't like messing up another glass, so I use my fingers. Real easy. And we're going to get the butter and the bread, friends. So they're going to crisp up just a little bit while they're hanging out. So check this out. Here's how you crack an egg. One side is bigger than the other. You might have been doing it wrong all along. So you crack the big end, and it makes it a lot easier to put your egg in like that. It's just a more controlled pour. So that's kind of a cool tip to know. And what we're looking for here is we want the eggs to turn white underneath. That lets us know that the seal has been created. So the cookery, you guys could cook these to where it's runny, which is what I like to do. Or you can cook it a little longer and it won't be runny anymore. So position your egg like a book. See this? How there's one side's shorter than the other? It makes the flip easier if you flip it like a book, like a page. The other way is just longer. It can make a little mess or get a little bit out of control. So that's a good tip. So let's scramble up some delicious eggs and use our wonderful shervil. Here's a few health informations about how good chervil is for you. You can find it at specialty grocery stores these days, and it's very easy to grow too. So if you want to add that to your garden. So we're gonna crack our eggs in here. One of the things I like to do when I start scrambling eggs for this dish is I like to let them get a little set. You'll see that the white's already starting to develop before we start going crazy and whipping it up. You need a little pinch of salt because eggs are a little bit bland. Definitely add a little salt. So we're gonna scramble them up to where they're almost done. We're gonna add our herbs in there. We want to, and I turn the heat off too. Get our Parmesan cheese in there. And now we're gonna add our truffle butter. You don't have to add this. This just really is a really elegant ingredient that the flavor profile is very nutty. There's a reason truffles are expensive. It tastes really good. So if you find the grocery store, I really encourage you to give it a try. So the butter's just gonna melt through and we're gonna be essentially done with that. Plating, you could have put the scrambled eggs on the bottom and then your egg in the hole on the top, really a preference. But try to get as much of the scrambled egg in there as possible. A little bit of the tomato just brings some acidity, balances everything out. And we finish with a little bit of the chervil, which lets you know that that's what's in there. And you have a beautiful dish, guys. This is really elegant eating. So what does it taste like? The bread is almost a little bit sweet. It's chewy. It's moist. It is the best bread I've ever eaten, which is really saying something. Because who doesn't love bread? We've all eaten a lot of bread. The balance, the flavor... This is like a million dollar breakfast, I'm telling you guys. If you try this, you're gonna love it. I'd love to hear y'all's comments and below and let me know what you think. Please subscribe. All of our social media links will be below. I'm gonna have a link below talking about other egg dishes, egg cookery, and Dave's Killer Bread. Here's a few links for you guys to check out. They're on our website. And you guys have the very best. Take care.